Okay, so this is a gentleman, young man from Australia and uh, carried a cone as you can see in both eyes, pretty advanced. You see that? Even though I have to have you come back from Australia, I would still do it one eye at a time, but that's a safe way to proceed with these abnormal eyes. No, I totally agree with you. Got it? So now we are looking at patients who have reached us and their doctors have sent the letters to us explaining the condition and we'll understand what it is and then we'll allow them to call us before they start traveling to us. This patient's from Kenya and their eye surgeon is sending us this report and where he's saying the right eye has undergone trauma, tremendous scarring, cannot be measured. So now, as usual, I, I, don't, I disregard that difficulty level. I want to see what's the meat. Does this patient have vision? Typical again, most doctors don't even try refracting through scars because they accept the patient's mind, right? So the left eye, you can see actually improves to 20, 20 to now. He wants to come over here. Then he's seen a doctor in California, it looks like, for a report on a visit to US maybe before. Right, so that's information. Then I look up all these things that he has sent us. But for now, my plan here is, if I can refract him through the scar, in the scar, I go through laser plastic. If the scar is measurable, I go visual surgery, right? Mm -hmm. In the eye, outside the eye, you can see so. Dense corneal scarring. Mm -hmm. That's that patient. Who's the next one? We spoke to the Australia patient. This patient is from Texas. So the doctor has sent over this patient, keratoconus left eye more than right eye. See that? Mm -hmm. So if we go here, see some of the information they've sent us, topography of infraction. So this is the form they fill mm -hmm. for us. So we have all the data we need, right? Mm -hmm. Exact data. Now, if you look at the refraction, if you see here, he does improve. You see, mm -hmm. right eye, but left eye is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So now you want to see the topography. So left eye is very advanced keratoconus, right? In mm -hmm. 60s. What will you do for this case? It's not visual, it's structural. Structural. Intact. Lovely. Intact. Right eye, what will you do? Visual. Very good, because even though it has this amoeboid uh, keratoconus look, mm -hmm. right? You can see that the patient over here is refracting to 2050. So it's mm -hmm. a visual case. We'll go and do laser plastic on the cone in this case. And if you can see date of birth here, be 40 years old, right? Mm -hmm. So these patients are naturally cross-linked. We'll see if they need cross-linking, most likely not. Mm -hmm. Beautiful answer. So right eye will be visual, left eye will be structural, right? Texas patient. Then you go to this patient. This is West Coast, California. This patient actually has had smile surgery with his uh, surgeon, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll see what happened here. So they are calling it ectasia, meaning the cornea is bulging and causing irregular astigmatism. The patient has lost his vision after smile surgery. Smile surgery is a form of minimized LASIK mm -hmm. surgery. You still have a flap in it, right? So let's look at what data they've sent. And if you look at these scans also, what do you think I'll do? Structural. Is it structural? Vision. Lovely. So they are worried because he's ectasia, but I'm always thinking vision. Mm -hmm. So I'm not giving up. So I want to check when he comes refraction, vision, potential. Mm -hmm. Once I get that, I'm going. So I'll go laser plastique on his mm -hmm. smile flap because even the smile flap has a thickness to it. Mm -hmm. I'll go on that, top of that. And then because he's so young, I'll keep cross-linking in my back pocket. Patients, they are still to arrive. We will allow them to come to us. And um, I think all of them can be easily fixed.